all right my people welcome back onto this channel thanks so much for subscribing to this channel our prayer has been that the good lord will continue to support you all in all your endeavors amen 2023 we need a president that is agile Tinumbo's ambition threatened as Tambua makes case for young leader. All right, my people, the news in details. Well, on today's ahead of the 2023 general elections, the governor of Sokoto State, Amino Tambua, has urged Nigerians to vote for a younger leader. At an event in Jigawa State, the presidential Hopeful gave Nigerians the age bracket of politicians to vote for in 2023. Meanwhile, the national leader of the APC yesterday met with the party's senators and an house of representatives members seeking support for his lifelong ambition. Well, on to this, Governor Hamino Tambua of Sokoto State has advised Nigerians against voting for any candidate older than 60 years in the 2023 presidential elections. All right, and then on to this, Mr. Tambua, who is 56 years old, has declared his bid to run in the election on the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. He gave this advice in Jigawa State on Tuesday, March 15, after the National Association of Nigerian Student Nuns in the 19 Northern States endorsed his ambition. Premium Times report on this one. Well, the governor was represented at the event by his commissioner for youth and sport, Bashir Usman. Mr. Tambua said at the event that young Nigerians are the owners of the country. Any person above 60 years is surviving to meet God Almighty. He is not surviving to lead a nation. Other considerations, he added that Nigerians, uh, Nigerians should not consider for election people living with age-related illness. The governor taxed students to keep on struggling to ensure that their campuses are reopened for uh, academic activities within the shortest time possible. Well, 2023, I did not leave PDP. I am still a member. Kwakwanso declares, well, meanwhile, in another development, Kwakwanso had stated that he was still a member of the Red and White Flag Party. Kwakwanso disclosed that his allegiance still lay with PDP, if, even though he admitted that talks were ongoing with the NNPP. Kwakwanso said talks between both parties had been procedural and um, that there had been no bridge in the process at present. Well, my people, a lot had been said so far on to this one. Well, according to what had been gathered here, hmm, 2023, we need a president that is agile. Tenombo's ambition threatened as Tambual makes case for young leaders. All right, my people, this is another serious one and uh, another hot one for Bola Metinumbu. All right, so according to what has been gathered, majority of people have actually reacted in one way or the other. According to Uluwo Kiri Taye Adu, he says, well, agility is not the issues, but ability and integrity. What is Ameno Tambua? ability and integrity in 30 percent they should allow people who have minimum of 70 percent ability and integrity to take over the affairs of the country and they also to take over in respectful of tribe irrespective of tribe and uh, religion jeff tass b trust said well so Payback time have becomes a criteria for choosing a president in this country. I am ashamed of it. 
is lawmakers. All right, according to Umo KK and Mecca, he says, Well, but Tambua, you will be 60 after your first tenure. Are you trying to tell us that I will do one term? And uh, you are not even in support of a southerner. All of you are selfish. All right, Jixen on this one says, well, when he contests at 56 and uh, stay eight years, what calculation is he doing? Well, Ayefu Ayuba says, well, Almighty Allah will know who will emerge when uh Ajibade Frank on this says, well, somebody's ambition should not deter Nigerians from choosing the right person for the job, but who is the right person? Wale Ulusraya on this one says, well, whether young or old, let all of them that have ruled this nation at one time or the other leave, allow those who have never been there before rule now. We don't need any of these miscreants. All right, according to Odoma Ebiloma, it says, well, the time Tinubu ruled Lagos State is more than 10 to 12 years now. So nobody should use how he runs Lagos that time to the old Nigeria now. Tinubu is sick and the Nigeria cannot risk chance now. He was not sick when he ruled Lagos, but he is sick now. Nigeria money should not be used for treatment abroad with that age. Hmm. Well, according to uh, your day, Jilosin, well, he must be stupid. It's now that he can say that. Hmm. I fool. All right. So, according to Unwan Onye, Joy, say, well, hello, brothers and sisters. Take yourself out of poverty. Okay. All right. I think this one is talking about something else. Well, Okay, and then make use his powers change Nigerian predicament now. Okay, all right, so that's another one we are getting so far. Well, according to Samuel Haruna, I said, Well, Doguwa Ado, you have failed already. I have never been supported even for counselor by him. Buhari will be better than Tinumbu if you vote him in. Okay, that's another one from Mark Adams. Tinumbu is an expired man wearing pampas for bed wetting. Really, according to African society, says, really, I think Nigerian presidency should not be a payback. It is retrogressional for such a reward for the seat of our president. Well, according to Emmanuel Okoro, Afford, say, well, if not because of greed and the selfishness, people at 60 and above shouldn't be disturbing their remaining retirement age to serve their people. That is why white collars job retire at 60 or 65. So you go and rest, allow, allow young minds be the pioneer and be the patron that guides and supports the movement. It is all about self-greed, a variousness, pride, ego, and then over ambitious drive. All right, my people, this is what it is right now. On to this one, many things have been said. What more can we say? Me well, let me have your take on this, my people, and remember to subscribe for more updates if you are new on this channel. All right, thanks and God bless.